Okay, I'm with the 1000 LP rifle rest with this front counterweight. Now, I don't have any recoil accessory on the back. This is just the front counterweight only. I do think there will be a lot of folks who will really appreciate being able to add this additional weight to the LP rest. I mean, the LP rest comes in like, I think, 20, whatever, 20 some pounds. This has another 19.85 pounds to it. Uh, but by doing that, I mean, it just makes this thing just absolutely, I mean, like a rock. And, uh, and it just attaches on so easily. I mean, like I said, I like to use my T. Allen uh, from my quarter inch socket head uh, uh, cap screws to, to attach it. And as I mentioned before, we're going to have a carrying case for this where you can take it on and off. But uh, certainly the rest is not too heavy uh, by having this attached to it. Uh, but anyway, I do think it's certainly worth considering uh, for uh, even if you're not shooting any big weapons, even smaller ones, to go ahead and have this additional weight on there. But anyway, again, it's 19.85 pounds, and like I said, there will be a carry case out for it soon. Okay, I'm with the 1000 LP rifle rest, I want to thank you for purchasing it. And I want to go through, uh, when you receive it in the package, on how to put, how to assemble this together. Uh, you're going to have your, the windage base part, which is this right here, you will not have the wheel uh, attached to it. But obviously you're just going to, you know, spin this uh, wheel up on it. And uh, then the next thing that you apply to it will be, you'll have a, a little bearing, a needle bearing stuff. That's going to go on there. And then you're going to have a little washer that's going to go on there, you know, like this. Then the next assembly is going to be the sandbag attachment. And that will be marked here. And then uh, you'll see these little... Uh, Allen set things here that you tighten it with, and you'll see the two wedges here. You simply hold this straight up, and that way I can look, and I can kind of guide those wedges down in the in, uh, on the groove there, or the windage uh, T-nut there, and I can just slide that on there. And I like to just simply take a T-handle, even though it comes with a little bitty attachment, Allen wrench there, but the T-handle is just so, uh, to me it's a lot easier to use, and they're very inexpensive to buy it. And I just go ahead and I snug that up, but that's not to be like really, really tight. And then it's basically locked in place. And then from there, I'm going to drop it into the front, uh, the front casting. Uh, and as you see here, it's got a, a, a channel there. When I drop it in there, I want to make sure that it's, it's lined up with my pin up here front, and it's right in between there, so I don't, so I don't, you know, nick up the threads or something. So that was lined up there good there. And. Uh, uh, and, th and then I'll, basically that's all there is to it that you have to do before it's ready to shoot. And then I want to just give you a little demonstration here of uh, uh, how to use it. But first I want to point out that we have changed uh, the back end of it. I put on so, a taller eared sandbag, which I really, really, really like. Uh, and we did beef up these end caps. We made them also taller. And I made the, these these little heavier duty or uh, uh, cap screws and stuff where I can really torque it down and kind of get this thing exactly where I want it. It really helps on the torque of the uh, of your sporter guns. And what I mean by torque is when the, uh, when the firearm is in the rest, then the ability to to have this happen, which you're always going to have that. And that's how come I do love the front V-box sandbags assist in that. But in the back here, it allows me to kind of cradle this. And to get the best support that I can, but yet still you got to have it towards slides, you know, freely, you know, forward and back. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to show you how I uh, go out and use this. I'm always going to take my front elevation, and I want to have that probably right in here. And then I take my rear elevation. I get it about halfway between fully up and fully down, right in there. Well, when I'm looking down the scope. I'm going to take, and I'm going to put my crosshairs very close to my bullseye, or my point of impact. And I'm going to reach around, and then I'm going to lock that in. Because up front, I want everything not moving. I want it to be totally, completely locked in. And then I can make my adjustments for my windage with my dial here. And my final adjustment is back here. So I'm going to fine-tune it ever so slightly. Where I want it. And there again, that allows the weapon to be basically just almost like locked in place. I mean, nothing can move back and forth. The hand rest thing, I like to have this loose to where I can actually slide this forward and backward because what I got big hands, so that allows me to get 
back down in here and, and, and tweak my rear elevation. Because this is just a tweaker. Because like I said, you don't want to be using this to go all the way up and down all the time. I just use that just to tweak it. Because I want to get it really close up front and I just tweak it here. But this way I can slide this up to when I'm ready to shoot. And this helps me to position and puts my hand in a comfortable position so I can be totally comfortable with the unit. Uh, and for leaven it, up on the ledge, I used to have a bubble level system here and stuff, and it actually, the more I used it, it just did not make any sense. Now I just get me like a line level from Stanley at some uh, Home Depot or any hardware store, and I'll place that little level up here on the ledge by the sandbag. And then I'll go down here with my feet, and see I can loosen these, and then I can screw these in and out, and then I can adjust to get it level there, and I take my jammer, and then I lock that in place, and it's set to go. Uh, the only other thing is, uh, when, you, when you do uh, the sandbags, I like to take acetone, alcohol, uh, and soak these up because I like the sandbags to be nice, nice and soft. Uh, and if I am going to shape them and pound on them, I always make sure that I close this and sandwich this all together if I'm going to pound on that because I don't want to be beating on that because that's really like a very close tolerance in there when we made this. So I want to make sure that's sandwiched together if I'm going to be pound on the sandbag, and the same way with the front sandbag, I'll always remove this and set it on the table if I'm going to be pound on that at all. Uh, but anyway, folks, uh, it's an awesome product. Uh, I do appreciate the purchase, and uh, if you got any questions, be sure and call me, 800-611-2164. Thanks again.